And so now we're back in Skylanders Academy. And so this is actually a look at our hub world for the game this year. And when you start the game, it'll only be this central tower with a bit of the courtyard. And then as you progress through the game, you'll end up getting more of these buildings attached to it as well, expanding the amount of content and the, the actual people that you can talk to throughout. And so what I'm going to do now is actually switch over to another Skylander here, show you someone new. We're going to bring in Torch. Yeah, I like Torch. Yeah, she's really fun. She's a core fire Skylander. Uh, and so we've got Torch here. And so the first thing that we're going to do is run to the very front of the Academy. And here is where we actually have the Villain Vault. And this is where you will go to manage who you have in each of your traps. So say you have one air trap, you've captured Buzzerbeak and some additional air villains, this is where you'll go to equip who you want to have in the trap. So the traps can hold one villain at a time, is that right? That's correct. But any of the trappable villains that you defeat along your adventure, if you don't have the trap, they'll actually be sent back to the villain vault, so that way when you get that trap, you can load them up. So to trap all the villains, mm -hmm. you just need eight traps, is that right? That's correct. If you wanted, well, actually to trap all of them, you can just play the game. Uh, but if you want to play as them and actually put them in a trap, uh, you would need the ones for each element. They, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. so, so when you're trapping, you don't need to put the, the so matching we're... element in, but when you bring them back, you do. Yeah, so to play as them, you need the trap. To actually get them into the vault mm -hmm. and defeat them, uh, you don't need the trap. Okay, cool. Yeah. And so from the villain vault, we're actually going to progress over here. Can we go in? Can we have a look in the villain vault? No. What's in there? I want to know what's uh, in there. What What is in there is kind of a presentation of all of the capturable villains in the game. So we're going to yeah. hold that till later. Oh, wanna, but that'd be, good, go? that'd be good to capture. <laughs> it oh, sure would for you, Andy. When you're ready to learn about... <laughs> right, let's press on. Yes. And so you'll see over here, this is Persephone's area. She's back from Skylanders Giants. She's who you'll talk to to upgrade your characters. And then you'll see her treehouse, which you can actually explore, find some really fun collectibles. Uh, so Persephone is where you upgrade your Skylanders? That's correct. Do the, do the Trap Master Skylanders have additional upgrades? What, what makes them special, the Trap Masters? So the Trap Masters themselves have an upgrade path similar to a core Skylander or a Giant, where it's a number of upgrades and then two branching paths. What makes them really special and really cool are those Traptanium weapons. And so in addition to getting a damage boost against all trappable villains, uh, they're also able to interact with pieces of traptanium that have, you know, in the explosion of Cloudcracker Prison, not only been sent to Earth as the traps, but also been embedded into the Skylands. And so when they encounter those, they'll actually be able to use their traptanium weapons to break apart that traptanium, giving them access to extra collectibles, hidden areas, and even more villains. And so would you have to have the trap master of the appropriate element to access those traptanium um, shards. I just like seeing you say Traptanium. Traptanium. Perfect. Uh, no. Uh, so any of the, the Trap Masters can uh, break apart any piece of Traptanium. And so... Are there going to yep. be any swap zones or giant areas in Trap Team? So we're focusing on really, you know, getting the Your guest stars challenge. to have their own special areas uh, with, you know, behind the Traptanium. Uh, but I don't believe we're going to have uh, swap zones or giant areas. But elemental zones? Elemental zones will be back, yes. And how about like cool Skylanders? Well, we're asking a question. <laughs> Man, if you're just going to go over the list. Uh, so as far as the, the Skylanders themselves, we're really only talking about right now the the new characters, the Trap Masters and the core characters. Uh, all told, there will be something like over 50 new toys. Uh, and then in addition to that, over 40 trappable villains. Uh, we're not necessarily going over the, the other items as well right now. Okay, so no, no word of like cool as yet. No word as of yet. Yeah. Okay, so let's press on. Yeah, and so now we're entering into the academy, and you'll see we have a number of rooms, a number of different areas, a number of people to talk to, this little skeleton guy as we pass. You'll actually see Oric manning his shop, and you can talk to him and, and see some of his wares. But Callie. Yep, that's Callie. You'll see her as we walk on by. But what I wanted to show you was the game room. And so we're going to get up there, and one of the things that you know, you're probably intimately familiar with is just the amount of fun that Toys for Bob, you know, does and has when making a game. And so one of the things, their, their audio department is second to none. They're really crazy guys, and you'll actually hear as we get closer to this player piano, how the music has changed to piano music. 
Oh, nice, because that, that reminds me of the jukebox. Yeah, in yeah, you remember the jukebox, shit. yeah. Exactly, and that's still the same team, you know, and they like experimenting with the audio, the different Seth things that you can have in the game. To learn about so that's Dan Neal, is that right? Yeah, it's Dan Neal and his team, uh, the audio team over at, at uh, Toys for Bob that does a great job. 70 on all these lines that they can say, and they're all context sensitive, so if you open a, a door, lightning rod might say storm coming through as he as you move through the door so it's all con context sensitive to the situation and to the character as well and so when you go with different characters does the music change depending on who you're playing as uh no it's specifically tied to just the overall theme of the area and changing and augmenting the the soundtrack for the academy okay yeah um, but here what we have is a character that we can interact with uh to try out our new uh card game which is sky oh sky stones yes and so this is Skystone Smash. And so at the start of each area, or the start of each round, you're given three different Skystones. And so the objective is to get the health of your opponent down to zero by playing your stones strategically to defeat them, but also making sure you're not getting attacked. And so you'll see they've played the Shred Knot there, which has a two attack and two health, but I have a Tussle Sprout, and I have four health and three attack. Tussle sprout. So I will be able to survive that round. And so these are all villains that you'd capture on these cards. Bruiser, so there's Bruiser. a variety, and you'll actually find different cards along the way. In addition to different types of villains, we also have different characters in here as well. Um, and you'll actually see some of them, uh, which is really cool, have different um, special abilities. So whereas Tussle Sprout was just going to do a normal attack, the Chompy Mage here actually will regain two health. So you'll actually get plus two health by using him. And so we're gonna play him Chompy down. Mage. Heart boost. Jumpy power! And thanks to the heart boost, I'm now at 12 health. And because he wasn't being guarded, I took two health away from Dreadbeard. Nice work. Yeah. And so that's just a quick Bruiser, look Cruiser. at what we've got for Skystone Smash and uh, what we're showing off for Skylar's Trap Team at E3. Well, thanks a lot, Lee. Yeah, thanks again, Andy. That's the end of part two. I look at Skylanders Academy. I look at the Villain Vault. I look at Sky Zones Smash. So if you want to subscribe to the channel, when we get our next video up, we're going to be looking in detail at each and every one of the Skylanders trap team figures here at E3. Go through all their attacks and all their moves. If you subscribe, we can let you know when that's live. And check back for regular updates from E3 from Family Gamer TV.